Introvert is a type of people who is recharged by spending time alone. But introverts are not necessarily shy. Shyness is the fear of social disapproval, while introversion is the preference of environments that are not overstimulating. If you have a hard time identifying people as introverts, here are some signs that might be useful. Sign number one. Introverts prefer to devote their social energy with close friends. Sign number two. Introverts prefer to have solo hobbies, like fishing, so they don't have to be in a big group of people. Sign number three. Introverts feel really uncomfortable being around loud people, people who is always talking. Sign number four. Introverts find it's more efficient to work alone. Sign number five. Introverts tend to stay quiet in a big group of people. They won't talk until they have to. I am an introvert. Sometimes I feel like living in a nation of extroverts. It's common for me to hear people say, "You need to talk more." I have a hard time carrying out conversation with people that I don't know. I just feel so nervous and don't know what to say. I don't want to be rude, so I make as much noise as I can, like, uh, uh. But in fact, I just want to run away from this awkward conversation as fast as I can. I hate small talks. I really do. I feel exhausted when people give me too much details or talk too much. I get physically tired very quickly. My mind stops processing any information that goes into my head, and all the sound goes into my ears. Sound like some people are talking so much, and I feel I really need a nap after the tiring conversation. It doesn't mean that I hate people. I do love people. I wish everyone in my life all the best. I wish everyone can feel loved and cherished. I wish everyone can feel welcomed. But I just don't often say it. It seems that we are in a culture that being social and outgoing are about all else. I used to feel really bad for being quiet. I tried so hard to be an extrovert, but I failed. I just couldn't be someone else. I know that being outgoing has so many benefits. It makes you more easily to fit into a group or leave a good impression on an interview. I may try to pretend to be a social person when it's needed. But I still feel that introvert people are needed in this world. We are thinkers. We tend to reflect in words a lot, and sometimes that mind just won't shut up. We think first, talk later. We take time and deliberate over important questions and decisions. We are observant. We pick up on parts of our conversation or surroundings that others may not observe. We prefer to spending our creative time thinking, reading, or writing in solitude rather than bouncing ideas off each other in groups. We are also listeners. We pay attention to others so we can in tune with what other people saying in the group. A world without introverts would be a world with few scientists, musicians, artists, poets, filmmakers, doctors, mathematicians, writers, and philosophers. In fact, some of our leaders in history have been introverts. For example, Eleanor Roosevelt, Rosa Parks, Gandhi. All these people describe themselves as quiet and soft-spoken and even shy, and all they took the spotlight, 
even though every bone in their bodies was telling them not to, and this turned out to have a special power all its own, because people could feel that these leaders were at the helm not because they enjoyed directing others, and not of the pleasure of being looked at. They were there because they had no choice, because they were driven to do what they thought was right. I am an introvert. I am quiet, and sometimes even awkward. But I believe in the power that is inside myself. This is, I believe, 